Hey everyone, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed sa video natin, gusto ko lang pong ipaalala sa inyo na meron pa rin tayong ongoing giveaway for the Huawei Nova 5T and may dalawa pa tayong mini giveaway bago yun. And sa mga hindi pa po nakakala, may winner na po tayo ng Samsung Galaxy A50s. Again, congratulations to you. Yes guys, nakita nyo naman yung title. Grabe, may panibago na namang phone si Oppo na i-offer sa atin. And honestly, medyo familiar na kayo dito sa phone na to. Since medyo kahawig niya yung previous na nirelease nila na Oppo Reno series. What I have right now guys is the Oppo Reno 2. Bago natin pag-usapan yung mga specs niya guys at bago ko ibigay sa inyo yung first impressions natin, gusto ko lang pong ipaalala sa inyo na ito ay hindi predecessor ni Oppo Reno 10x Zoom, kung hindi predecessor siya ni Oppo Reno. So basically guys, itong device na to na Oppo Reno 2, it's between the mid-range and flagship category, unlike the Oppo Reno 10x Zoom na flagship category talaga. Pero sasabihin ko na sa inyo guys yung mga specs niya at yung mga mga doon mamama at yung mga bagay na dapat nyong malaman sa Oppo Reno 2. And by the way guys, meron din ako ditong Oppo Reno 2 F. Abangan nyo yung ating first impressions sa mga susunod na araw. Unahin ko lang yung Oppo Reno 2. So may dalawang major updates yung meron si Oppo Reno 2. We have a new processor and a new quad camera setup. So, dun sa dalawang yun tayo magpo-focus ngayon, guys. And magtataka kayo bakit wala tayong unboxing at bakit nauna yung first impressions natin. Kasi yung unboxing video natin, medyo mas bongga yun, guys. So, wabangan nyo na lang. So, may dalawa pa akong upcoming videos for the Oppo Reno 2. Meron tayong unboxing and a full review. Bala ko kasing gawin full review, guys, is a day in the life na gagamitin ko yung Oppo Reno 2. Why? Gusto ko lang na maiba yung full review video natin, guys. Ayoko nang sit down lang. Gusto ko ma-apply rin natin siya in real life, tapos malalaman nyo talaga kung okay talaga siya for vlogging. Why? Because according to Oppo and a few tech reviewers that I've seen na, na nag-upload, made for creators daw talaga tong Oppo Reno 2. So ayun guys, mapapakwestiyon talaga kayo if the Oppo Reno 2 is really made for creators, especially if nagsistart ka palang mag-vlog or even kapag vlogger ka na talaga at magagamit mo ba talaga si Oppo Reno 2. Anyway guys, mag-start na tayo sa first impressions. By the way, bakit first impressions lang? Two days ko pa lang pong nahawakan itong device na to. Unfair naman to para sa inyo kung sasabihin kong full review agad. As you can see here guys, ito yung Oppo Reno 2 na kulay na meron ako. And ang tawag nila dito guys is Luminous Black. Actually, meron din tayong tinatawag na Sunset Pink. And yung Sunset Pink guys, medyo kahawig niya yung Oppo Reno na lumabas previously and actually I really like that color pero I'm really happy na meron din ako nitong luminous black sobrang gorgeous niya guys tignan nyo oh my god nakikita nyo ba yung glow sa gitna Grabe, ang ganda! So, ayun guys, Oppo Reno 2, medyo kahawig niya yung kanyang predecessor. Pero, meron tayong mga bagong mapapansin sa kanya. Unang-una, glossy na siya compared doon sa Oppo Reno na matte. Pangalawa, very striking na yung kulay niya. And sabi ko nga kanina, meron talaga siyang glow effect doon sa gitna. Grabe! I think this is my first time na makakita ng ganitong klase ng kulay or ng effect sa isang smartphone. And as usual guys, kapag Oppo Reno, wala tayong camera bump. Ito talaga yung gusto ko sa Oppo Reno. And meron pa rin tayong ODOT guys na kulay green, yung kanyang pinaka um, accent. Bakit? Siyempre to protect the cameras every time na ilalapag natin siya. So and guys, overall para sa akin yung kanyang overall look sa likod, it's very seamless and very premium looking. Meron pa rin tayong usual buttons guys sa right side. We have the power and lock button na merong green accent. And nandito yung ating SIM card tray. Buksan natin. Let's see guys kung dual SIM pa rin siya. And of course, dapat natin malaman kung expandable storage. Pasensya na kung minsan nakakalimutan kung i-mention yun. Pero for now, hindi natin makakalimutan yan. So ayun guys, dual SIM si Oppo Reno 2 and expandable storage pa. Next, on the left side of the phone, nandito yung ating volume rockers and nothing else. And lastly, we have the speaker grill here, USB-C port, microphone, and the headphone jack. And syempre, makakalimutan pa naman natin kung saan talaga nakilala si Oppo Reno. Yung kanyang motorized pop-up camera na ang shape is shark's fin. 
Next ang pag-uusapan guys is yung kanyang display. We have 6.5 inches dynamic AMOLED display, Full HD Plus with 2400 by 1080 pixels. And protected din siya guys ng Corning Gorilla Glass 6. At kung gusto nyong malaman yung screen to body ratio niya, 93.1% yung meron siya guys. All thanks to the Shark's Fin na motorized pop-up camera. So ayun guys, sobrang bezel-less talaga ng Oppo Reno 2, just like the previous Oppo Reno series. And yung kanyang chin, actually it's barely even there, and even yung kanyang side bezels. So for guys, ang masasabi ko lang, okay na okay yung kanyang display sa dalawang araw na paggamit ko sa kanya. Siyempre naman, ang na display siya, it has deep blacks, at syempre mas punchier yung colors niya. So like the Oppo Reno guys, Oppo Reno 2 is a premium looking smartphone. And then, meron tayong dalawang ways to unlock the device. We have the face unlock and the in-display fingerprint sensor. Yung fingerprint sensor niya, guys, is the third generation G3 optical. Ako nang ibig sabihin nun, guys, according to Oppo, it makes the unlocking safer. Next, guys, the Oppo Reno 2. It has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. G. And it also has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. Actually guys, sa mga hindi po familiar with the Snapdragon 730G, it is the same chipset na ginamit with the Samsung Galaxy A80. And yun yung first smartphone guys na gumamit ng Snapdragon 730G. Actually, yung Snapdragon 730G, slightly similar pa rin naman siya guys with the Snapdragon 730. Pero guys, mas better siya and mas optimized for gaming. And I don't know if this is true guys, ang ibig sabihin nga daw ng G for the Snapdragon 730G is gaming. So ayun guys, as of now, hindi ko masabi yung aking real life experience sa Snapdragon 730G and hindi ko pa rin pwedeng sabihin sa inyo kung ano yung kanyang Antutu benchmark. Pero sana talaga guys, maging okay yung pricing ni Oppo Reno 2 para naman ba maganda na yung cameras, okay pa yung chipset, Pasok pa sa presyo. Next guys, natin pag-uusapan yung cameras. Ito sobrang daming cool capabilities na ino-offer ni Oppo Reno 2. We have 48 megapixels Sony IMX586 for the main camera with OIS and EIS. We have 8 megapixels ultra wide angle camera, 13 megapixels telephoto camera with OIS and 2 times optical zoom. And lastly, we have 2 megapixels portrait lens. For the primary camera guys, pwede pa rin tayong mag 2 times optical zoom. 5 times hybrid zoom and we can go as far as 20 times digital zoom. Alam ko guys, this is not a 50 times or even a 60 times digital zoom, pero sa akin sobrang na-impressed ako so far sa kanyang cameras and video capabilities. It definitely has very exciting features na pag-uusapan natin sa mga upcoming videos pa. Besides the camera guys, nakita nyo naman yung mga ibang sample photos natin. Yung video capabilities rin niya guys, sobrang ayos. The video guys, it can record up to 4K at 30 frames per second. And meron nga siyang OIS and AIS. Yung video niya guys, it's surprisingly very stable and it doesn't seem na parang tumatakbo si Jason. Although, in fact, tumatakbo talaga siya at ang galaw ng pagkahawa ko sa kanya. By the way, handheld to. And I think that is because of the OIS and EIS combo. I'll discuss this more sa ating full review. Another favorite feature ko guys is yung ability niya to shoot portrait mode videos which impressed me the most. Ayan siya sa rear cameras pero wala lang akong model na magamit ngayon. So, selfie camera muna yung gagawinin natin. And nakikita niyo naman na sobrang blurred ng background and nare-read niya agad yung kamay ko. Todo yung pagkabokeh effect niyan. And meron din tayong tinatawag na video zoom. And syempre, hindi mawawala yung ating selfie camera na nasa shark's fin na motorized pop-up camera na merong 16 megapixels. Other than that guys, Oppo Reno 2, it has 4000 mAh battery capacity with Volk Flash Charge 3.0. Honestly guys, hindi ko pa po nasusubukan ng maayos or ng mahabang panahon yung kanyang um, battery capabilities. Lastly, still the same guys, it has the same color OS 6 with Android 9 Pie. Until now, meron pa rin akong love and hate relationship with that UI. 
Hindi ko masabi kung yung features ba niya eh magugustuhan ko or hindi. Pero I'll discuss this more guys sa ating full review. Alam ko medyo nabitin kayo. First impressions pa lang to guys. And there is more to come. So ayun guys, ayun muna for now. Again, it's your tech girl Mary. And see you on my next video. Bye guys!